What's up, Growth Hacking Ninjas? So today we're going to review Go Charlie. I've been meaning to do this review for a while now. Go Charlie, in my opinion, is one of the higher end AI copywriting tools out there other than, let's say, Jasper. I know Copy AI has been up there quite a while, but I've been in their communities and it seems like they've uh, crashed quite a bit recently and uh, support wasn't really there for the community. So we're seeing that start to fall behind a little bit. We're starting to see tools like GoCharlie step up their game. Um, I will be doing a review of GoCharlie as well as Juice AI. I know a lot of you out there have been comparing this. And just some quick background. I know you guys have heard this before. I'm an angel investor, made over $50 million on my own e-commerce sales. Now I help SaaS companies grow and I have four uh, agencies as well. So I know some of you listening to this are actually working with me. And so when I break down companies and websites. I know there's a lot that you guys can learn from this. So let's take a look. Go Charlie. Uh, this is how they position themselves. They do have a lifetime deal right now, which is why I'm kind of reviewing it. Uh, hopefully you guys can pick that up. So when you look at the uh, user interface right now, uh, it looks a little bit childish compared to the other ones like Jasper. I know they are heavily looking at redoing this. I listened to a podcast of the founder who said he wants to make this look like a futuristic, I believe, Tron or something like that. You can tell they're kind of going in those colors, but it looks a little bit cheap right now. Good thing is that the tool is actually really good, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. The user interface is secondary. Um, and I will be reviewing, again, Juice AI and then doing a comparison of them in a future video. So make sure you like and subscribe. Okay, so me, Charlie, content creators, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this doesn't really matter. You guys kind of know what they do. Most of them also do image, uh, text to image and reverse. But yeah, looks pretty good. Let's see what the team shows here. Yeah, so Costas is on there. This guy, Brennan, is super active in the Facebook group, so this is amazing. This guy also puts out a lot of content, and yeah, the puppy. But yeah, you can tell they definitely need a lot of help with design. Um, go, Charlie, if you're listening to this, please reach out to me. I have a world-class design team. would love to help you guys out because I do love your tool as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the pricing. So this is their unlimited plan. I don't know how much longer this will last. I think it actually expires soon. So you might, guys, I would highly recommend picking this up. I think it's really worth it um, for $435 if you can afford it. I believe they also accept PayPal if you have PayPal. Um, you get unlimited uses, which is pretty crazy. Obviously subject to a fair usage term, but... And then this one's a limited one. There Actually, a lot of people that got this limited one are now upgrading. They're giving the option to upgrade to this one, so that's amazing. And yeah, I, I wouldn't even worry about the monthly pricing because you guys know how expensive Jasper and those plans are, but this one is producing some really high-quality content, even with the one-click blog, and we'll get right into that, actually. So... Um, before we actually do that, let's take a look at their uh, YouTube. So it's really important for me that whenever you see an AI company pop up, that they're actually producing a lot of content. So here you can see 11 days ago, they put, put out a bunch of content. A month ago, they did. Hopefully, they continue doing this because uh, this is going to be super important in growing their channel. So hopefully, you guys can, if you guys like this, make sure you go over there and subscribe to their channel as well um and let's get into the tool already so yeah here you can see the ui again it's not the nicest looking one i mean you can switch from dark mode to light mode in fact yeah maybe light mode's a little bit easier on the eyes so we'll go for that one right now um so the first thing that people are going to be wanting to do or the main thing that they've been showcasing is their images section as well as their blog section so the one click blog uh and the image creation they also have a tool called i believe it's uh not rewrite where is it? Yeah, anyways, we'll, we'll oh, contest re repurposing. You can see this one's in beta. So this one's cool. Let's just go over this one. So you, here you can feed in a YouTube link and it'll actually create a blog outline. And then from that blog outline, you can create an entire blog uh, article. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we might take a look at that, but first let's get into what you guys wanna see, which is the one click blog. So there are draws, drawdowns or uh, negative sides of using one-click blogs, and we'll get into that. But bas basically, it's the uh, the fact that it doesn't look at the previous content before it continues writing content. And so typically, people are going to be wanting to use the blog wizard for a higher quality blog article because then they can control the sections and all that stuff. Um, but if you're trying to save time, the one-click blog is your way to go. And in my opinion, Char Go Charlie has one of the best one-click blogs out there so here we are going to type in we're going to use this one and we're actually going to use the same term in juice for a future video and then we'll compare the two so what makes a successful dental clinic target audience let's go dentists dental offices 
Mm, should be okay. SEO keywords, let's actually just type in that whole thing. And dentists, dental clinics. I don't know if this is necessary. Again, I'm not a professional at doing this. I would just do this intuitively. I'm assuming because we put this in there that they would mention it, but let's just throw that in there anyways. And again, here you can select your goal, which is in to inform. Most of you will be doing inform goals just based on blogs, but sometimes you wanna like persuade somebody if you're you're trying to sell something entertain if you're trying to create like a yeah if you have a like a youtube channel or something like that and you're trying to create content there explain but typically i just leave it in inform i'm curious again how many people would be able to test the difference between this even if we run this twice on inform it's going to give us unique content so i don't know how much this really plays an effect maybe if go charlie team you're listening to this you can let us know maybe you've done some split tests as well okay so we're just going to hit right and we'll see how long this takes I'll pause the video. Okay, so it took uh, maybe just shy of a minute, uh, which is quite a while, but again, you're getting a whole high quality article here. So, and I think it may depend on server load, but I could be wrong there. So here you can see your SEO keywords. Uh, you can even add more if you wanna rewrite it, but here we go. Okay, so I'll just say right off the bat, Go Charlie is missing right now. Uh, two things that I think are really important. One is the rewrite section. So the ability to highlight something and rewrite it. Um, you'll, you'll know that Juice does this very well. Uh, you can literally click on a headline. You can change the headline and you can click rewrite and it'll rewrite the entire article. Same with uh, programs like Word Hero and stuff like that, uh, which are like mid-tier AI uh, copywriting tools, which check out my previous video if you haven't. This, so I'd say, is a medium to higher-end AI copywriting tool. But again, they're missing that key feature. The cool thing is that you don't really need it because the quality of the content is so good. But again, we'll take a look at this. Um, and then the other one is the write more feature, which is obvious. So if I want to expand upon this, I just hit write more. And I know both of those are coming, or at least the write more is coming very soon. So that's awesome. And We'll take a look at their Facebook community, which is very active. But the second I mentioned something in there, it seems like it's responded to right away. So let's take a look at this article. Again, they don't right now insert images. I think that might be future down the road, but they do give you image suggestions. They also don't highlight uh, or bold any keywords. So that's something that Juice does really well. It inserts images, even videos from YouTube, as well as highlights things. But the quality, I'll just say right now, is not as quite as good as uh, GoCharlie. Okay, so let's take a look. We won't read the whole thing, but what makes a successful dental clinic? The ideal dental clinic, how to be a successful dentist. Cool. Dental clinics, what works and what doesn't. What patients want from their dental clinics. Top dental clinics in the country. Okay, I'm wondering which country this is. Dental office design, what makes a difference? Yeah, so design is obviously important for what makes a successful dental clinic. What patients want from their dental clinics, the top dental clinics in the country. Oh, sorry, I didn't read all that. Uh, what's new and exciting? That's cool. Talking about the technology. Dentists, how to stand out from the crowd. That's awesome. Promoting your dental practice and starting a new dental clinic. Everything you need to know. Summarize. Okay, so I mean... Maybe I'll take a pause and just read through this and let you guys know if there's any completely out of whack things so you guys don't have to watch me. Okay, I took a quick skim and the two main issues you're going to find with all one click blog articles is repetitive areas as well as areas that you want to again write more which I mentioned earlier. So Overall, this does a really good job. Typically for each uh, section here, it'll have an intro talking about a little bit and then an outro, which makes it feel, feel very comprehensive. Um, some AI tools do not do that with their one-click blog. Sometimes they'll just end. So I like that they kind of wrap it up with each section. Um, here in the first section, I found that they repeated uh, the, uh, that the team is very important, literally close to each other. So in this case, it would be nice to do a write more. So it fills it in with a little bit more content and then it repeats it at the end. But the fact that it's quite small right now, even though you can see this is a lot of content, um, yeah, it just makes it a little bit too repetitive. So there's the repetitive issue. Uh, some of these were perfect. So some of these sections were literally just perfect. Um, and then some of them, again, you, you probably want to write more like the, uh, the technology it's talking about. Um, here, I would want to elaborate on the technology as well. And right now, there's no easy way to do that. So it's a downside. But overall, this is an amazing article. Uh, every section will not make you question whether it was written by a bot or not. So I'll just copy this right now. Here, you can save your content as well, which is great. You can even write the content as you saw down there. And we're going to take this over to Neuron Writer. 
So here in Neuron Writer, if you guys don't know, it's kind of like ScaleNut. Uh, it allows you to check the quality of the content. So here we have the query, what makes a successful dental clinic? And here are the top competitors. Typically what I like to do here is just ch check them all and then uncheck the ones with a few, few words because they might not be our competition. I know a lot of you, if you want to actually take the time, you'll just select the ones that are actually blogs, but I don't really care. It's just to save time. And then we'll move on. Okay, so here, if you've never used Neuron Writer before, it's pretty simple. You have all the keywords that they've pulled, the basic ones and the extended ones from all the competitors. And we're just going to literally just paste in the content that it wrote um, here. And we're going to see what score it gives us right off the bat. So already we're at a 35. Uh, this is some some one-click blogs, and it'll depend on what you're writing about as well. Uh, I've seen the score as high as 40 to 50 right off the bat. You can see that we're trying to beat around 56. Um, so this will be very easy to beat, actually. Um, let me just show you some quick ways how. Obviously, we did, we missed the meta title, so we'll literally just copy this headline, paste in the title, paste it in the description or the meta description, and we'll see our score jump right away to 48, okay? Then you can do things like this, and then just type in certain keywords like this, like... Uh, how to run a successful dental practice. Something like that. And you'll see this light up as well. There you go. So that should help the score as well. And then here you could do like, again, same thing. I know it's very, very obvious. In fact, here I would just run this literally through Word Hero. Word Hero is a really good SEO thing. In fact, GoCharlie has a good one as well. Let's test that out since we're we're trying it already. So let's go to, there should be one called SEO. There we go, SEO meta description. Let me just go back and grab the, yeah, we'll just grab this. Brand name, we'll just go Best Dental Clinic Marketing or something like that. An error has occurred. Okay, so sometimes that happens with AI. Okay, I don't know why that's happening. Okay, there. Three clicks, it's fine. Uh, looking to increase blah, blah, blah. You, ju you, you just wanna make sure it has this exactly, what makes a successful dental clinic. Okay, in this case, this is why I use uh, Word Hero. I did, it doesn't really have the exact keywords that I want in there, so. Um, that's fine, we'll just paste that in there instead. I know it's a little bit long, we can cut some stuff out. Okay, so already we're at a 58, so already we beat our competitors. In this case, I would just go through the content. Another thing I like to do in here uh, in Neuron Writer is just go to the ideas section. And uh, typically you just hit draft, it's not as intuitive, but um, then you just pull over some, some FAQs and I'll just add FAQs to the end of this uh, this article like that. So I just grabbed three of them. Oops. Wow, I grabbed all three. That's horrible. It shouldn't allow you duplicate content, by the way. And then some questions as well. What makes a great dentist, maybe? And I know some of the, so we're, uh, Neuron Writer, I just grab as additional content in case I need it. And then I just go copy to editor. And then I just fill this out using their AI. Neuron Writer has a long ways to go when it comes to AI generation. But it does help you generate some initial content. So I think we can get over a 60 score. Um, but yeah, overall, I would give to Go Charlie. Honestly, at this point, given the uh, the community engagement, uh, the team, and all that stuff, as well as its one click blog writing capabilities, I would give it a strong nine out of ten uh, in terms of where it stands and where I see its potential. So they're always putting out very educational, informative stuff in their groups. Um, and we'll be on this channel reviewing other Facebook groups as well, because again, that's going to give you a good indication whether the team is is capable or not. So, okay, done. So we're at a sixty six score, uh, very good, and that's without any manual work. The next thing I would do is just use um, Grammarly and go through it and just change this into some 
better readability. So that's the only thing I would do. And then I would literally get my editor to go through it and make sure it makes sense, make sure all the sections are in the right areas. So you can have one virtual assistant uh, basically do this uh, tedious work, like generate it. And then the other one can be a, an editor that you pay that turns it into something that would actually rank and actually be valuable for your team. But so, yeah. The only reason Go Charlie doesn't get a higher score, uh, I mean, nine is a very high score, is that once the rewrite or the rewrite feature and the write more feature, as well as the bold uh, of the text and the image and video insertions are there, I think it'll be super, super, super good. And um, also WordPress and Shopify integration. So we will cover Juice AI in the following video. So make sure you like and subscribe. Take care, guys.